Today was the day that you were supposed to start working out. Today was the day you were going to finally have that conversation with that person that you didn't want to have it with, your mom, your friend, your dad, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your partner, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, your boss, your colleague. Today was the day that it was all supposed to happen. Then, of course, you're tired, you're sick, you got in a fight with someone that has distracted you from doing that thing you were supposed to do. Whatever it is, something came up that got in the way of you doing that thing you know you were supposed to do. Now, many of the insights that we've learned thus far from reading this Daily Stoic book provide context and helpful guidance to facing these challenges. Today's reading is The Obstacle is the Way, June 30th. I think Ryan Holiday actually wrote a book called The Obstacle is the Way. So if you want to learn more, I, I suggest you probably go get that book. Okay, let's get into the reading for June 30th, The Obstacle is the Way, in the book The Daily Stoic by Ryan Holiday. This is Stars With Me channel. My name is Mike Stroh. I hope you find this helpful. While it's true that someone can impede our actions, they can't impede our intentions and our attitudes, which have the power of being conditional and adaptable. For the mind adapts and converts any obstacle to its action into a means of achieving it. That which is an impediment to action is turned to advance action. The obstacle on the path becomes the way. Marcus Aurelius Meditations 5.20. I go on. Today, things will happen that will be contrary to your plans. If not today, then certainly tomorrow. As a result of these obstacles, you will not be able to do what you planned. This is not as bad as it seems, because your mind is infinitely elastic and adaptable. You have the power to use the stoic exercise of turning obstacles upside down, which takes one negative circumstance and uses it as an opportunity to practice an unintended virtue or form of excellence. If something prevents you from getting to your destination on time, then this is a chance to practice patience. If an employee makes an expensive mistake, this is a chance to teach a valuable lesson. If a computer glitch erases your work, it's a chance to start over with a clean slate. If someone hurts you, it's a chance to practice forgiveness. If something is hard, it is a chance to get stronger. Try this line of thinking and see whether there is a solution in which one could not find some virtue to practice or derive some benefit. There isn't one. Every impediment can advance action in some form or another. Once again, we see that that is straight to the point. No time for fluffy nonsense or bullshitting our way around what we know to be true. As I mentioned before, our good intentions, our desires to change or to address problems often get derailed. Then back to, I think it's no excuses. I can't remember which day that was from. It's recent. Then the mind goes into rationalizing, justifying, minimizing the reasons why we've set out to do the thing that we do or said we were going to do. We come up with excuses. We make all kinds of things up to, to make us feel better about our inaction. Well, when it gets right down to it, I don't even really like accepting this to be true, although I do definitely know it to be true. We always have a choice. We can always decide how we're going to face a situation. And that's internally, primarily. We can, face, we can show up with integrity, with commitment, with focus, or we can show up whining and complaining and being just generally pissy about it. I think we can all honor the ideal there, right? The ideal is, is to show up with integrity and, and focus and determination. Now that's not always possible. So in those moments, similar for me today, I don't like the cliche of often saying, this reading is perfect for me today. I needed to hear this, although sometimes that can be true. And today 
I did not want to be doing this video. I did not want to be here talking. I was trying to make excuses. <sighs> so for me, part of that is letting go of my resistance a little bit, tuning into it, honoring, honoring it, acknowledging it, and then reminding myself that this is an opportunity for me to learn, to push through a little bit of my resistance and to be the person that I want to be or to stay committed to the things that I claim to want to stay committed to, such as making these videos, growing my YouTube channel, and practicing talking about these ideas because I find that very enjoyable. And I find it challenges me, it teaches me, helps me learn to be a little bit more articulate, straight to the point. And just to enhance my overall sense of wisdom uh, toolkit for resilience and well-being, which is what this channel is all about. So similar to what we've done in previous videos, what are the obstacles you're facing in your life? What are the excuses or the rationalizations that you're coming up with for why you don't need to do those things? And can you practice stepping into the obstacle? The obstacle is the way. And how that looks for me today would be, I need to go have a conversation with somebody that I don't want to do. It's uncomfortable. I need to acknowledge some of my own needs or inadequacies or desires. Also my faction with something this other person did. And that's hard for me. I don't like doing that. Many people don't like doing that. So in order for me to get where I want to go to be who I want to be, I must go through this obstacle of my own internal resistance, discomfort, past conditioning, all those kind of things that are uncomfortable to acknowledge and to feel. It's really unpleasant to feel these things. And if I want to be on my way, on my path, being the person, again, as I mentioned, that I want to be, well, then I must go through this obstacle. It is the way. It is the way. And even saying this right now helps me remember that. Now, I uh, am fortunate enough to have people that I can remind myself of these insights with. I have a core crew of guides, teachers, peers, also people that I help. Uh, and without these people, I wouldn't be able to process these things as effectively as I would like to. So contrary also to what we often assume about stoicism is that you're supposed to be hold it all inside, be this tough, strong, independent person. That's actually not true. And that's not what stoicism is all about. Stoicism, in my understanding, is about honoring the difficulties, doing what you need to do in order to be the person that you want to be, in order to move in the direction that you want to be moving in. And if that means getting guidance, getting wisdom, asking for help, whatever it means, it doesn't matter. It's, it's that honesty, that integrity, that willingness to seek out the answers, to act in alignment with your values, your virtues, your ethics. And that's what I'm going to try to do this afternoon. Maybe I will check in at the next video with how that went. I'll leave it at that. So if you enjoyed this video, please like it, comment on it. Share it with someone you may find uh, who th you think might find it helpful. And please subscribe to this channel. You can also support us on Patreon. I'm going to stop talking now. I wish you all the best. Take it easy. Peace out. I am very grateful that you watched to the end of this video. Please click one of the boxes to watch more of our content. And otherwise, have a great day. Peace out.